into a drawer to die because why? They got too dull. But you can bring yourself to throw them away, so you put them in a drawer and that's where they stay. You always tell yourself, on my day off, I'll take them to the knife store and have them professionally sharpened. How's that working out for you? Because it hasn't happened in all likelihood. So what we're going to do is take all of your old knives and we're going to breathe new life into them, including this old chef's knife that Chef Rick Roman bought when he was a caterer how many years ago? 25 years ago, wow. like brand new. And that's because of the three stages of sharpening, David. Tungsten carbide breaks down the metal, re-edges the knife, mm -hmm. diamond honing bars smooth it out, and then ceramic polishing bars give that razor's edge that you remember the knife being was brand new. So if you get this, it's like getting a brand new set of knives. This is Chef Rick Roman, and this Hello. is Chefologist. And this is a three-stage knife sharpener. It also has a scissor Correct. sharpener on that's it. Right. So if you've got kitchen shears, that need to be sharpened. We can help you out with that as well. We have 19 minutes on free shipping. Left. Oh my lord! 19 we have to hurry up. minutes. Everybody needs to jump online, jump on the mobile app, whatever, and make sure you place your orders. I have some colors. Okay. Where are they? Here are they. All right. So, from the sake it would have bitten me. To <laughs> this is the black. I also have it in gray. This is blue. And this is red. You're choosing a color because it makes you smile. They all do exactly the same job. This is an extraordinary item. We've sold over 50,000 of these oh, thank you. since we first brought it in. Now, most so, knife blocks at home have this a, spear looking thing a, called a steel. A steel. So, first of all, with a steel, you have to get the exact angle of the knife each and every time you pull it across the steel. If not, you dull. But here's the other thing think about how dangerous this is. If I slip, I could cut my hand. Yep. Well, forget about the steel. Ours is secure. But here's what I love to say because so many people, they go to prep this, this time of year, we're cooking a lot, right? They take a knife out of the drawer and I see this in so many homes look at this knife this knife is so dull it can't even cut a sponge and what does that mean you're using pressure you can slip but you can take the dullest knife in your drawer go to our sharpener tungsten carbide David you hear that it's literally taking metal off the knife I'm putting a new edge back on this knife with that stage one right how many passes so about six passes because this, this knife was really dull then I go to those diamond honing bars and I'm starting to really smooth out and put that factory edge that I love back on it and then last but not least I polish it up. Okay, so now this blade that I couldn't cut the sponge a moment ago, I want you to check something out. Watch what happens. I can not only cut this sponge, David, but I can cut a razor thin piece of the sponge. This knife on live TV just went from dull to sharp as the day it was new. Too fantastic. And we That's remember how, how, yeah. how nice it was to use knives when they were sharp. Oh, yeah. How effortless it was. There's an old saying that says a sharp knife won't cut you. It's a dull knife that'll cut you because you're using more pressure. That's you're right. Using more force to try to get it to do its job. It's not that you have failed the knife, the knife has failed you. So give it a new edge, sharpen it back up, and do it today with free shipping and handling. And now over 400 people have picked this up. I have 1,500 people waiting to place an order. And 37,000 people on QVC.com who are taking advantage of this last 17 minutes yeah. of shopping. Or with free shipping and handling. And David, what I love is every steel knife. So if it's a steel blade, you can sharpen it. Now you talked about it before. It also does scissors, right? So if you're going to use it for scissors, here's what I want you to do. First of all, to release the suction, there's a big black dial. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. And even without the the suction engaged, this suction cup holds. Now for the scissors, we're going to tell you to go to the edge of your counter. Now why do you want to do that? The reason you go for the edge of the counter is because the scissor is the last slot here. So a scissor is only sharp on one side. So you're going to pull it. Through the scissor sharpener, right? And because I have it at the edge of the counter, the other part of my scissor can hang down. Right. Then I flip my scissor over. Again, well, it's only one side is being sharpened on a scissor. Now you can do your craft scissors, your your kitchen shears. They're going to be like brand new because they are an edge just like a knife. So you're going to do all your knives plus your scissors. Can we also grab that food processing? Um, oh blade? yes, because let's do that. This is something that most people, once their food processor blades go dull, they donate them. Yeah, because exactly. Uh, they can't get it to work again. You can breathe new life into your old processing blades. Yeah, and think about this. The reason we love the Chefologist is because of safety and ease of use. Because it stays secure on the countertop, I can actually confidently hold this and not worry about the sharpener moving. So you can do things like this you would never do with an ordinary sharpener. Old processor blades, now you can see with a serrated edge, are now sharp as the day they were new. Now, I have four colors for you. You choose a color because it makes you smile. They all do exactly the same job. This is the black. I have the gray, here's the black, here's the gray, then the blue, most limited is blue, and then finally I have it for you in the red. Most popular is the red. 
Now over a thousand are ordered. Many of us have knives in our kitchen where they where they go into a drawer to die. Yeah. We can't bring ourselves to throw them away. But I'm talking knives of yeah. some size and different types. This also do serrated? Serrated blades. And again, here's the beauty of this sharpener. It stays secure. So what does that mean? My hand doesn't go near the blade. And then if you're left or your righty, it doesn't matter. You're gonna drag it and lift it. Drag it and lift it. And there's giant arrows on the top to tell you to pull in this direction so you don't do it the wrong way. And anybody, I mean anybody, so many people I find are intimidated about getting their knife sharp. Look at the edge of this blade. If I don't think the camera can catch it. You see how shiny it is like a razor blade? Mm -hmm. That's when you know it's like brand new again. Oh, that's a great shot. And by the way, always wash your blade. You can actually see the little filings. It takes metal off the blade. That's why it's able to re-edge it. So you want to make sure so, that you rinse all those away, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Now look at this, a big heavy butcher's knife. Think about how thick this metal is. Well, this it, is a meat cleaver. A meat cleaver, exactly. So this can actually shave the metal off of this cleaver. And this one, you can really see it. This looks, see how that looks like a razor blade? That is a brand new edge. That is how every knife is supposed to be in your in your drawer. But often we accept those dull knives. And if you have somebody who maybe there's a hunter or a fisherman, you could throw this in the tackle box and sharpen up even the smallest of knives. And again, David, when I say sharp, check this out. I'm going to go through a little tomato here. We're mm -hmm. just going to cut a little slice. Look at how I just gently glide it, and we're just going to cut a nice little slice, oh, and it doesn't wow. tear the skin. That's when the knife is sharp, when you know it doesn't tear the food apart and it goes where you want it to go. These are very, very popular. Yeah. In fact, now in the show, we've taken orders for 2,000 of oh, these wow. are gone. Many of you are picking up more than one of these because they make great gift ideas, maybe That's for right. the person who's hard to buy for, oh, yeah. but does a lot of cooking and invariably has a lot of knives that are, have gone dull. So don't miss this opportunity. Pick up a couple of these. They make great holiday gifts. We only have 13 minutes left at free ship. Oh, Dave.